Our third speaker tonight is Steve Elliott. Steve has been a Toastmaster with court credit for at least seven, five, five. five. Well, I got Going an extra year. I got an extra year from that, <laughs> Allie, so I give you an extra year. And tonight his, um, his speech is entitled, A Man in a Woman's World. Steve, a retail professional, has found himself being in a minority. He has even translated, this is even translated to his personal life. Today, Steve will il illustrate what it's like to be alone when in a crowd. Steve Elliott, a man in the woman's world. A man in the woman's world, Steve Elliott. There I stood, primping my hair, <coughs> checking my shirt in the mirror. I was about to go into a room with 40 other women. I even nervously checked my breath. I envisioned a suave gentleman striding into that room and taking his seat. And that's exactly what I did. I got into the room, and 40 sets of female eyeballs turned and looked at me. <laughs> and I said, is this where the pantyhose training is? <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and friends. Yes, that was me attending a pantyhose training session. <laughs> I am a retail professional, and I have found myself in a female-dominated world. But I ask you tonight, can you think of a time when you've been in an uncomfortable situation? Have you ever been the minority in the room? Mm -hmm. Tonight I'll share with you my journey as a minority and give you some tips on things you might want to try for future. So, I was working for Sears when that pantyhose training took place. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember the day I was striding to my manager's office. I had just won Sales Manager of the Year for Home Fashions. And I knew a promotion was coming. I went into the office. Steve? I would like you to be our ladies' wear manager. I laughed. My boss didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew that I was going to be breaking a barrier. For I knew of no man that had been a ladies' wear manager. I thought my boss was crazy. Not only did I not know a lot about fashion, I knew even less about women! <laughs> <laughs> but I accepted the honor and became a ladies' bar manager. My team embraced me. They enjoyed having a male leader. It was a unique experience for them. I had to put up with puzzled looks, laughs, questions when I said I was a ladies' wear manager. And I remember going to that patty, pantyhose training session. But I didn't stride to my seat. No, I slinked there. Because I didn't quite feel comfortable. And it got worse when I sat down and comments started to be made. Is he in the right room? Who does he think he is being in here? I wonder if he wears pantyhose. <laughs> well. And with each joke, and with each passing remark, I started to feel a little more uncomfortable. And I realized breaking barriers is tough work. My team rallied around me that day. They saw how uncomfortable I was. They cheered me up after, told me I had done great, that I would be just as knowledgeable in the pantyhose section now as they would be. And that made me feel much, much better. 
How little did I know that I would be the proud father of a dancer, Derek. And I remember I wanted to support Derek while he did all of his dancing. And so that meant going to the studio and picking him up from his practices and taking him to competitions. How many men do you think were in that world? It was me again, breaking barriers. <laughs> Some of the women would look at me and smile and nod. Others would ignore my presence. I could see them all chatting in the corner and was left to wonder, are they wondering why I'm sitting here waiting for my son to come out? But I knew it was important to Derek, and so I was going to be okay with being uncomfortable. And so I ask you again, have you ever felt that you're in the minority in a room? Or are, have you ever been part of the silent majority that ignores maybe an uncomfortable situation? If you find yourself as the barrier breaker, I say embrace. Act yourself. Don't be self-conscious. And just be you. You'll win people over that way. If you're witness to an uncomfortable situation and you find yourself in the silent majority, I would say speak up. Make people aware that maybe they're taking the joking a little too far. Because the more people that we have break barriers, the better our society comes. And my empathy skills have grown tremendously from that experience in the pantyhose training session and in the dance studio and competitions that I've attended. I hope I've given you inspiration to go out and break barriers, speak your mind, and be yourself. Madame Toastmaster.